Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. Do you think you can unlock this mailbox? I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Then do it quickly. Someone can come in any minute. A little room with a master locksmith? Really? Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Master criminal, if anything. Done. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Well, well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try. But I should warn you, I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. Coming! Right, step back. I'll handle this. Oh, hello? Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... Okay, maybe. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth! Uh, hi, Pauline. Um... How are you? I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I...
Oh, I'm Mrs. Ashworth's lodger. She kindly offered me a room, and we've been living together for the last couple of weeks. I mentioned to her I was looking for a job. My parents pay for the room and school fees, but I could do with some extra spending money. So, anyway, I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester, and I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. My mother always says you have to get your hands dirty to learn something properly. Not that you get dirty hands looking after babies. Just m metaphorically speaking. Well, it can get dirty. I hope you understand the job would involve changing nappies too. Yes, of course. I don't have a problem with that. Yes, well, you sure sound enthusiastic. Would you like to come in? Both of you? It's okay. I'll wait. I could really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Yes. Well, you'll... Okay. You owe me. We need to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Fine. Just don't overdo it. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. What a nice flat! I love the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. I decorated it myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. I'll need you to drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Why don't you think of something? I told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? No. But I'm trying to fake it and so far she's buying it. Look, I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah? I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she is a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Yes, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Excellent. I know we all have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Melissa, but my career has always been important to me as well. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very competitive industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. Where's Alyssa's dad? Do you mind me asking? I... I'd rather not talk about it. It's personal. As far as I'm concerned, Alyssa hasn't got a father. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. No, it's all right, but I just don't like talking about it. I'm sure you'll understand. There just isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. So I haven't really got a choice. It's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. 
I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. How about, would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? We should probably see if she likes you first. I, yes, definitely. But I ought to wash my hands first. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? Really? What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just ordinary things, this and that. You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know, I... I volunteered at the hospital earlier today. Oh, I'm impressed. You don't see many young people doing that these days. But you're right. As nice as that is of you, there's all sorts of bugs you can pick up in a hospital. It won't hurt to be extra careful. I'll show you to the bathroom. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. Your turn, Mrs. A. Seriously? Do something. Anything. Fine. Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. I need a bit of time. Hello? Hello. Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. May I come in, please? Agency? What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitter's Agency, of course. We bring fun and professionalism into child minding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Hang on, I said. I'm sorry. The position has already been taken. Oh, great. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Thanks for your time. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. There must have been some kind of mix-up. No, there wasn't a mix-up. You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. So, was it my friend at the door? No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. Well, I hope you told him to go to hell. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. Yeah, me neither. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Wait!
I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. Boom. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please, what if I faint? I, I'm scared. Everything's just spinning around. Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. You must have got some bag in the hospital after all. It's you. Again. Hello. Is this flat number eight? My name is Rita Tickle from the Happy Nanny Agency. May I come in, please? I've told you already. You're too late. You have? I thought I got the wrong door last time. It's the right door. I was looking for a nanny, but I'm not anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You were looking for a nanny. I have 10 years experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioural psychology. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics and I only take one break every five hours. Just to use the restroom. Wow, that sounds really great. But I'd like you to go away now. You don't need a nanny. Nope. I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. <sighs> You're an evil person. You'll go to hell for doing that to your baby. Yeah. I've already been to hell. They don't want me there. These scissors seem sharp enough. Let's create some diversion. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. Oh, not that again. What happened to the lights? I'm... I'm terrified of the dark. I, I can't move. Oh god, I can't breathe. Calm down, it's alright. Probably just that stupid mirror. It must have run out of money again. It's not even that dark. Please, you've got to do something about it. I, I think I'm going to faint. Fine, just stay in my bedroom. There'll still be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day. I'll go outside and put some money on the mirror. It'll only take a minute. Right. Let's do it. Was that you, Mrs. Ashworth? What happened? Um, no idea. Maybe it's a blackout. Like in the old days. It's probably just the meter. Let me see. So it's not her either. Oh, 
over. I don't get it. The cable's been cut. But why would anyone do that? I think we're going to go now. This whole power cut gave me a terrible headache. Is that you, Mitzi? But we haven't finished yet. Have you changed your mind about the job? No, of course not. I'm just scared of darkness. And I still feel sick, you know. Perhaps we can continue some other time. I've had it. I'm getting a new fuse box. Was that you, Jesse? Yeah. How are you doing, Pauline? Well, I... we need the power back. Can you do something? Yeah, I can easily fix that. There's an electrical store that's open till late. I'll get some stuff and I'll be back before you know it. Bear in mind it's not just the fuse box, it's the cable this time. I'll get a new cable too, don't worry. But in the meantime, go home, find some candles and chill, yeah? Thanks, Jesse. That's awfully nice of you. Well, it was great seeing you, but we're going to leave now. Hello. Who's that? My name is Rita Tickle. Rita who? What the hell is going on here? Do you know this woman, Mrs. Ashworth? I've never seen her before in all my life. Now she'll think we are absolutely crazy. I wouldn't worry too much. You're not exactly the most popular neighbor in the house anyway. Thanks. What? You don't actually care what those idiots think, do you? No. Of course not. It's just that Pauline seems all right. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. We can now get inside flat seven and see what he's been up to. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. We can also cross Pauline off the list. I've searched through her internet history. And needless to say, there's nothing exciting there. Now that he's gone, we can get inside? Yes, let's do that. I'll close my eyes and you pick that lock, Mitzi. Okay, but no peeking. I'd never. You've really hurt my feelings now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now close them. There, job done. Jesus, are these... Relax, Mrs. A. They're just Halloween masks. Oh, good. That's good. Because I swear, if I see another bloody head...
So, who's got windows over this side of the building? Well, Joe Davis lives right below. I guess we could also check one flat below Joe's. I just hope the cable's long enough. Let's find out, shall we? I should be able to use that computer now. Could you give me five minutes, Mrs. A? Sure. Why not? I'll keep an eye on the door. It's not him either. God damn it!